93 WIPC Mobile News. On the level, on the go. What the money could be paying for. With your Alexa Flash Briefing, I'm John Herrick. The city is paying for more programs to promote diversity and racial equity if the City County Council agrees with Mayor Joe Hogsett's budget proposal. Chris Davis reports. If you're a city worker, you're out in the cold. I want to acknowledge what is not in this budget tonight for the vast majority of City County employees. And that's funding for cost of living wage increases. Hogsett says some city departments won't get the money they need to and blames coronavirus. But he's proposing spending $16 million more on coronavirus relief. And for Hogsett, the focus is also on improving racial equity. The city is joining the Government Alliance on Race and Equity. GARE will be working to empower city-county agencies and help them address racial inequities through policies, planning, and delivery of services. The budget may take two months to finalize. Chris Davis, 93 WIBC Mobile News. But Hogsett made no mention of the city's record pace for homicides this year. Kurt Darling reports. FOP President Rick Snyder talking to Hammer and Nigel on WIBC. We're on pace for 226 homicides. That's a 26% increase over the all-time record ever in the history of our city. Though Snyder says the mayor has been in talks with groups like the FOP and the 10-point coalition, he says the mayor is not doing enough to try and take on the issue directly. Hogsett did lay out public safety and criminal justice reform plans in his address Monday without an effort to defund IMPD. Kurt Darling, 93 WYBC Mobile News. The University of Notre Dame tested nearly 12,000 students for coronavirus before the start of classes on Monday, around 8,600 of which were undergrad students. Those tests found that 33 students tested positive for the virus, which is less than one-third of one percent of all students tested. Three new coronavirus deaths reported Monday by the State Department of Health. More than 2,800 Hoosiers have died from the virus. Out of more than 852,000 Hoosiers who have been tested for coronavirus, 9% have tested positive, and the seven-day positivity rate is 7.5%. President Trump says he is suspending the Social Security deduction from your paycheck, but don't spend that money just yet. Eric Berman explains. The White House has floated the possibility of writing off the next four months of payroll taxes. But for now, Trump's executive order only defers those payments till January. Some employers may not change anything since they're going to need to send that money to the Treasury eventually. Indiana Chamber President Kevin Brinegar says the Chamber hasn't offered its members any guidance yet. I've got our federal lobbyists looking into this and we're going to need to determine what it is we communicate to members. Brinegar says he hopes Congress and the White House will resume negotiations on a broader bill. Eric Berman, 93 WIBC Mobile News. You'd likely not have to worry about money during a global pandemic, but some schools in Indiana might have to. Shyla Kabalan reports. There's a little bit of squabble over um, reducing our funding if we don't open our doors. Indiana School Superintendent Jennifer McCormick on CNN Sunday. She says schools are already facing other problems reopening and money doesn't need to be one of them. We're starting to hear those threats of funding and we're also getting that from D.C. and honestly it's not helpful. McCormick admits the looming threat of school funding has made reopening a struggle, but she and other health departments are watching positivity rates, trends, and regional activity to ensure schools can carry on safely. Shyla Kabala, 93 WIBC Mobile News. And this week is Shark Week, which is being celebrated at the Indianapolis Zoo. As we actually have the nation's largest shark touch tank right here. It is one of our very popular attractions. You get an opportunity to get up close and possibly touch one of these incredible sharks. Carla Knapp, who runs public relations for the zoo, tells Wish TV one way to recognize Shark Week is learning how to shop for sustainable fish and seafood while at the grocery store by downloading the Seafood Watch app. WYBC's flash briefings are updated throughout the day, so you can always check for the latest local news. You can also rejoin us in the car at 93.1 FM to stay on top of the latest traffic alerts, weather, and news. I'm John Herrick on the level, on the go, and on Twitter at 93.1 WYBC and WYBC.com.